Mogadishu, a suicide bomber in police uniform has blown himself up inside a police training camp in Somalia's capital Mogadishu, killing at least 17 police officers, officials said. At least 20 other officers were wounded in the attack, some of them seriously, said Colonel Muhammad Aden. The bomber, disguised as a police officer with hidden explosives strapped around his waist and torso, infiltrated General Kahia Police Academy and targeted officers gathering for special morning exercises, Captain Muhammad Hussein said. The officers were rehearsing for Somalia's Police Day celebration scheduled for December the 20th. The bomber walked into the police academy undetected and joined a long line of officers in the rehearsal parade before he detonated the explosives under his boatswear. Police officer Farah Omar, who was at the scene at the time of the blast, said the bomber targeted a spot where dozens of soldiers had gathered. He wanted to inflict the maximum damage, said Omar. The Somalia-based Al-Shabaab extremist group quickly claimed responsibility for the attack. Al-Shabaab which is allied to Al-Qaeda, carries out frequent bombings and attacks against hotels, checkpoints and other high-profile areas of Mogadishu. It is waging an insurgency against the United Nations-backed government and its African Union allies in a bid to topple the weak administration and impose its own strict interpretation of Islam. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. Al-Shabaab has been blamed for the massive truck bombing in the capital in October that left 512 dead. Only a few attacks since 9-1-1 of you killed more people. Al-Shabaab has become the deadliest Islamic extremist group in Africa and is increasingly targeted by the US military after the Trump administration approved expanded airstrikes and other efforts against the fighters earlier this year. AP